You guys see that big spider? Jeez, it's not that big. It's just a little guy. Get out of here. Oh yeah, that's that's a lot tougher, that's for sure. But I don't think much about it. Let's push. It's it's doable. Whew. Those of you counting at home, this would be number five overall of nine. I think I got it. Well, good morning. Good to see you again. Good to be back out here. Actually like out here first thing in the morning. I suppose it was first thing in the morning yesterday. I just slept in a little bit. But we're actually back at it today. Trying to get back on schedule. And unfortunately, we're still not feeling 100%. Overall, I think we're feeling like way better. We're still feeling just as good as we were yesterday. If not, maybe a little bit better. Maybe a little bit less tired. I don't know, I still feel pretty tired. But we definitely still have some lingering stuff going on uh, in our sinuses up here. So whatever the sinus infection wants to do, it's just deciding to do it. It's not really slowing us down. Yesterday I felt pretty good for the most part, but I will tell you that in the middle of the day I needed like a nap so bad. I was, I was really tired in the middle of the day. Um, I ended up getting in maybe a 30 minute nap, if that, and uh, it, it certainly helped. It carried me through the rest of the day, that's for sure. And at the end of the day I was still feeling pretty good. I wasn't like overly exhausted or anything like that, but I still do want to be cautious. I still do want to be cautious with this sickness. I'm obviously not at 100% of my game just yet, but I do still want to get a good workout in. So we're going to do that today. And as you can see from today's workout, like I told you yesterday, we're doing exactly what we were supposed to be doing on our last push day, which is you know chasing after this bench, doing some shoulder pressing, all those types of things. We're literally gonna be doing the exact same workout. Now, with that said, we are gonna skip around a little bit, and don't get mad at me, but we're gonna eliminate a couple exercises because I just don't feel like our body's ready yet to have a 100% workout and not suffer and delay even longer being at full health here. So what I'm primarily thinking at the moment is we're gonna cut out our incline dumbbell presses and one of our tricep extensions. Not sure just which one just yet, um, but I'm gonna cut out one of those each to help pare down this workout a little bit, still allow us to hit all the muscle groups involved and get a good workout in. Maybe we won't make as much progress or any overall progress in terms of hypertrophy or strength training, but we're gonna get a workout in nonetheless. My hope is that by pairing back on two of these, we can conserve some energy and not overdo ourselves, but again, also still just get a complete full and well-rounded workout in with all the muscle groups involved in our push, push workout here today. So we're gonna cut back on a couple of these, like I said. I'm eliminating one of the triceps and one of the push movement, I'm sorry, one of the bench movements because there's gonna be other movements in this workout alongside those. So that's gonna be the additional work to get us into the volume for the week that we need, but I'm still not really concerned about that. This is really gonna be a ramp up week overall. I'm sure by the end of it, we're gonna be hitting things just fine. We're gonna be feeling great. We're gonna be at 100% again, and we'll be able to complete full workouts without any issue. But at the moment, we still just need to be easing back into it, not taking it too hard, not doing anything too crazy to overexert our bodies and kind of shock it too much so that we end up sending ourselves backwards when we're trying to take a step forward here. So that's enough talk. Let's get into it. Let's see what today's workout has in store for us. We gotta get set up for the bench over here, get some warm up in, it's a little cool today. It's about 55 in here though, so it's it's adequate inside the gym at the moment. We warmed it up quite well. But we need to get set up over here, get some band work in there, stretch the shoulders out, get everything nice and warm, and then get after these bench sets. I'll see you over there. All right, we're pretty good and warmed up now. You gotta take my word for it. I uh, got that in. Everything's feeling pretty good, actually. Feeling really solid here. So 
We're gonna get after this first set, get 200 on the bar here. And uh, again, same thing as last time, exact same thing. We're gonna be doing nine total sets, 30 second breaks in between each one. We're gonna be switching up the grip in between all those. So we're gonna start out pretty narrow. I like to take about one thumbs width from the edge of the knurling here on the, uh, on the standard barbell. One thumb width away gives me my close grip. And then after that, we're gonna move either to have our pinky or our ring finger on the, on the ring here on the, of, of the knurling. Which one you do is up to you. Generally, I'm doing my, my ring finger on there. That's just what's most comfortable for me. But everyone's shoulder width and body setup is gonna be slightly different. Figure out which one works best for you. But then after that, we're gonna go nice and wide. So we're gonna go from our pinky or our ring finger on the ring here to our forefinger, our pointer finger on that knurling. Get super wide on those last three sets and really crank it out. I, <laughs> I like doing the wide one last. I find that that one hits the absolute hardest after you have been uh, cranking out these other, these other sets here. Whereas when you're in a more of a close grip situation, you're getting a lot more tricep activation that helps you push through that set. And in those latter sets, the last thing we need is additional assistance from accessory muscles like that. You're obviously still getting your triceps helping you when you're doing nice and wide, but with the wide setup, you're getting that really deep stretch in the pec. And it's a great way to finish these out. So let's get this thing set up to 200. We got 185 on here right now, and let's get after our first set. All right, let's get after this. 30 second breaks, nice and narrow here. First set. Starts off so easy, doesn't it? Good. It's feeling good, man. It's feeling good. Everything's feeling nice. You know, we've got this congestion still going on up here, but it's just that lingering effect. And it's nice to be back under the barbell, pushing some weight and getting a workout in. Even if we've got to, you know, at least start with some kind of reduction in taper and potentially even cut more, you know, by the time we progress through this, we'll see. But I'm thinking, I'm hoping that we're gonna be good for the rest of the workout. That we have planned. Set three, narrow grip. So now again, we're gonna go from that narrow grip, right, to a bit more of a neutral grip. So the key here for me is where the elbows are. With the narrow grip, those elbows are gonna be nice and tucked right alongside of our lats. But when we get to that neutral, I say neutral, it's really that regular standard grip, right? You want those elbows flared about a 45 degree angle. That's gonna be the most optimal position for us. So we're not gonna be super wide out here. We're not gonna be super tucked in. We're gonna be nice and natural, 45 degree angle. Get a good push in there. Let's do it. Ring finger or pinky finger on that ring, whatever works best for you. And don't think much about it. Let's push. Number two, uh, three. For those of you counting at home, this would be number five overall. I'm nine. Some clips, not the clips we're using, don't worry. Okay. Uh, three of three here for the neutral, narrow, uh, not narrow, normal grip here. Kill it. Okay. So now on these last three again, we're going nice and wide. So we want that pointer finger, that index finger on this ring here. We want it on the ring of the knurling, at least on that ring. You know, if you, need, if you can go wider, great. Uh, but in this rack, I'm not getting much wider here without smashing my hands in these J-cups. <sighs> nice and wide. <sighs> 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 
Now from week to week, we're almost certainly gonna be sticking with this regular old barbell. It's a good old power lifting bar. I love this bar, it's a great bar. And I have a, another bar though that we can use, which is that multi-grip cambered bar. It's gonna put our hands in a neutral position. So rather than being flared out, they're gonna be neutral here, up and down with our body. We may move to that from time to time because it does have a narrow, a normal, and a wide grip on that bar. And it could be good to just get some additional depth in there too from time to time. We'll feel it out though. Let's finish this first though. Got one more of these. And like I said, we're not gonna be doing those inclined dumbbell press today. I don't wanna overdo it. What we are gonna do though, is move right over to, after this, over to our shoulder presses here. And I might do some push-ups in between those sets. We're getting some really good break, rest rather, in between our shoulder presses. So I might do a set or two of push-ups as well, just to give a little bit more work to the chest here. It's not feeling too much right now. Um, it's not feeling like we've done too much volume just yet. So we might throw in some push-ups just to kind of help send it home. Okay, this is gonna be our last one here. Nice and wide, let's kill it. <clears throat> Very good. Very good. Happy with that. Not a bad first set there. We'll take that. We'll take it. Okay, second set here. I've increased the weight by 30 pounds. It's pretty substantial. And the goal on this one is really just gonna be getting at a minimum of five reps in there. We're gonna be shooting for eight, but I wanna keep perfect form. I don't wanna compromise on it at all. And I want to get a minimum of five reps. If we get more than that, fantastic. But we don't want to compromise that form at all. So we'll be stopping if we start to get really sloppy there. And on that last rep, but also the first rep, I'm going to do a, a good hold at the top. We're not going to be locking out the shoulder. We don't want to just stack the weight on top of our elbow and our shoulder. I'm sorry, I meant locking out our elbow here. We don't want to lock out the shoulder either, though. We don't want that weight to just be stacked on top of it so our muscles aren't doing anything really to hold it there. And it's just really resting on our, on our joints. We want to keep that elbow slightly slightly bent so that we're not totally locked out. Give it a good two second hold at the top there and then proceed with the rest of those. And we're gonna do the same thing on that last rep. So you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a second. Let's get after it. Good. I obviously could have done more there. We were aiming for five, we ended up with eight. And I, to be honest, I probably could have done more than eight too, but you still feel that congestion in the head, especially when we get later on in those sets. So I didn't want to push it too, too far, but that's not bad. That's not a bad way to start this out. The first couple of weeks of a new program is always just going to be kind of honing in and figuring out where that weight needs to be. It's not uncommon for that. Even if you've done these exercises a hundred times to have to reassess figure out what that weight needs to be for you to hit the rest goals, the rep ranges, all that stuff. Okay, let's get this cleaned up, move on. All right, we've got some Y raises to do. Uh, lateral Y raises here, we're going all the way up, coming all the way back down. Not using crazy amounts of weight, we're gonna be doing some high rep ranges here. So keep the rate moderate, don't go too nuts with these. We're gonna be taking decent rest periods, but we still don't wanna overtax our shoulders too much by just petering out way too early and not being able to hit the full range of motion as we're doing these. We're gonna be coming most of the way up, about a 45 degree angle, maybe a little bit higher than that. Um, you know, don't overthink it too much though. If you end up coming all the way up, not the end of the world. We just don't wanna be living where we're having everything stacked on top of our shoulders and we're not really using our delts to do any of the work to move that weight. Let's get after it. So I'm going with 25s here. I don't know what you're gonna go with, 
but I know you'll choose the sensible option for yourself. <sighs> nice. You know, one of the nice things about getting a good workout in this early is one, it obviously helps, I, I feel like it helps wake me up and get things shaking, moving and grooving in all the right areas. But when you're working through, you know, some congestion like this, you're clearing out the last little bit of that sickness. One of the things I love is over the course of the workout, just feeling that congestion slowly eking out. It's disgusting off camera. Don't even get me started. I'm blowing my nose like four or five times. I usually only have to do it like once in the morning just to get the boogers out. Clearing that nose out every couple minutes. Not complaining. Feeling better already. I, I still probably don't sound great though. <laughs> All right, set number two. getting kind of tough there so on this last set we're gonna reduce it down to uh, 20 pounds we're not gonna go 25 again I want to make sure we get the best ROM the best control and really just focusing on that full range of motion so that we're getting all the way up and controlling it down if we're just slinging it up and we're just letting it fall back down we're not gonna be getting any kind of good workout in there so we want the full range of motion but also that control on that descent to get absolutely everything we can out of the volume we've got for today. Okay, let's do this third and final set here. 20 pounds, reduced it down, still going for that 12 rep range. Let's hit it. Oh. Come on, control it. Come on, two more. Oh yeah, well, we obviously needed <laughs> that reduction there in weight. I'm glad we did it. It was still a fight at the end and we weren't doing a really good job of controlling it, but that's all right. All right, let's do some spider crawls here. This might be one you haven't seen before. I'm gonna show you how to do it here on the rack, uh, but you can do it on a wall. You can do it really on anything you want. Actually, no, we're just going to do it right here behind us. We'll do it on this, uh, this uh, garage door right here. It'll be a little bit easier for you to see. Let's get set up for that. All right, we're going to do some spider crawls. Now, if you've never done these before, they're actually a very simple exercise to understand. You're going to need a band. Now, if you don't have a short band like this, I would encourage you to get the absolute lightest band you can. Absolute lightest one you can find. And if you need to double it up, double it up because we're not going to be going very wide on this. We're going to be going about shoulder width, maybe a little bit wider than that. Yeah, I guess a little bit wider than that. And we're going to be crawling our hands up and down this wall. It's literally that simple. Now, you can do this on a wall. You can do it on the rack. I like doing it on the rack because I find that the rack, because it's a little bit more narrow and where I can put my hands, it's essentially forcing me to keep my hands at the same width here. We don't want to be trying to shoot them out any further or grow any narrow, you know, where we're not really working the, the delts at all. We want to be keeping it nice and static with regards to how wide we're taking this. And all we're simply going to do is once we have this around our wrist, I've got, this is my lightest band. You are not going to be needing anything heavier. Um, I've got my, this is my next heaviest one here from Rogue. This is the second heaviest one they make. And I'm telling you, I don't think I could do a full set of these right now. Maybe, maybe in the future, but not at the moment. But once we get this band in our hand, we're literally just going to be climbing our hands up and down this wall, all the way up and all the way back down. I like to come down to waist level. We don't need to be like bending over or anything like that, but coming all the way down until our hands can't come any further. And then we're gonna be climbing our hands all the way up. If you wanna come up to head height, you wanna go a little bit higher, that's totally fine too. When we're doing these, we're gonna count a set as three up and down, okay? So starting at the bottom, that's one, two, 
and then three, that's one whole set, okay? Now you wanna do more, that's totally fine as well. If you can't do three, that's also acceptable. But this is gonna be really, really, really good for our shoulders in a couple ways. One, we're basically getting a sort of static, you know, iso hold by keeping those arms locked here, slightly wide, so that we're having to use our delts to hold that weight there and climbing up and down, okay? Secondarily, it's just gonna be good for our overall rotator cuff health. Moving that hand up and down while keeping that static load on a shoulder. It's a light load. These are not heavy bands. I mean, this is probably, you know, five pounds at its, at its smallest. And now we're gonna be taking it out to here, but we're not talking about a ton of weight on these banded crawls. We do not need a ton of that weight. Do that crawl nice and slow and controlled, coming all the way up and all the way back down. And you're gonna be picture perfect, I promise you. So let's get after this. Nice and wide. There's one. There's two. There's three. Nothing crazy. We're feeling that burn now, I'm telling you that. We are feeling that burn already, even after just one set. Okay, set number two here. One. Three. Nice. All right, we're gonna do this last set with the uh, the red band. I don't know, I'm just feeling like we're giving it a shot. Why not? You know, this is gonna be tough. I'm telling you, even just standing here holding this like this is gonna be gonna be a tough thing to do, but we're gonna give it a go. And this is gonna be the last thing we're gonna do today. I'm feeling pretty good, feeling pretty accomplished. Don't wanna oversell it. Maybe we could do some tricep work, but we just did that arm workout yesterday as well, so I'm not worried about my triceps at any capacity. And I don't want to push this too far. I don't want to send us back any steps either. So we're going to be slightly conservative, a little bit safer. That wisdom tells me that it might be the right thing to do right now. And we're going to trust it. We're going to trust it. So thanks for being here today. I'm going to do some more spider crawls behind me as we uh, finish this workout out. But I hope you have a good day ahead of you. Good week, good evening, whatever it might hold for you. I hope it's good to you. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you thought about this workout. I'm excited to be back feeling mostly healthy again and looking forward to later in this week where we can really crush into some of these uh, workouts. I'm really looking forward to doing a leg day, actually. So uh, tomorrow, though, it's not what, had, what is in store for us. We've got some back day stuff. And we'll be on a leg day here soon. So I'll see you soon. Thanks for being here. Leave a comment, like the video if you like this. It really helps out a lot. And I appreciate the feedback, the comments, the conversation as well. I'll see you next time. Thanks again. Oh yeah, that's that's a lot tougher, that's for sure, but it's it's doable. Woo. Oh, there's two. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was good.